Hey guys, it's me, my Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Friday, October 28th, and it's currently 1.23 p.m., and I just have Baby Saint here for you all for this video. You guys are just going to be looking at him. I am not going to be changing him because I did just change him into this onesie, so for this video, you guys are just going to be looking at him while I talk about something. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, you guys may or may not have saw something going on around instagram about me and if you didn't see it it'll be on the screen i'll have screenshots throughout the whole entire video and i did just want to talk about it so it was brought to my attention that i was blocked by someone on instagram that there, there was an instagram story about me and so i woke up I actually woke up very early <laughs> but i i woke up and i got a message and then they were like is this about you and i was so confused because i couldn't see it i'm like okay well someone clearly has me blocked and so i'm like i can't see it can you screenshot it for me and they were like yeah and then they sent me a screenshot and of course it was about me so it was basically a picture with judas who is nixon by joanna kasmer zach and symphony who is serenity by lorely eagles and it was just saying it was the picture says it was brought to my attention what insane pricing was given to these two dolls i sold in a bundle nixon is a boo-boo baby his paint comes off with simply water and he's not properly sealed not to mention loose and an uneven rooted hair job serenity doesn't have paperwork and i originally bought her for 270 dollars on ebay so that is what the picture says. By the way, I'm not going to be around the bush. I'm just going to say everything in this video and then leave it at that. Again, I was blocked, so I have no way of contacting the person who posted this. And that was brought to my attention. So for one, let me address that. When I had purchased Nixon and Serenity, I was very dumb. <laughs> I didn't do any research on them. I just saw that they were for sale for a great price and um i jumped on it they were listed at 350 dollars and i was debating back and each they were listed as 350 dollars each and i was debating back and forth rather or not if i should go ahead and buy them because both of them are long sold out limited edition kids i thought that was a good price for them but they were really cute and i was like i don't know they were for sale about for maybe two to three months and then like after that, their price had got lowered. Their price had got lowered to, I believe it was $250 or $300. I can't remember what it was, but the price had got lowered. So that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to jump on it and see like how much they are. Because I was not following this person. I just saw that people were resharing that the dials were for sale. I messaged this person. I was like, hey, how much are you selling Nixon and Serenity for? Again, I think it was like two fifty or three hundred. I'm not sure exactly the price. And then I was like, okay, I'm interested in both of them. I was just not thinking enough to ask for more details about them or anything like if they came with a COA or if they were even authentic. <laughs> I just went ahead and jumped on it. And then I was actually offered a deal um, since I was going to purchase both Nixon and Serenity. The person had offered me a deal, like a bundle deal on both of them, which was cheap, cheaper and less money. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to refuse a bundle deal, right? So when I got them, they were very cute. They did look like their photos. I didn't know that Nixon was a boo-boo baby. I should have maybe figured because his price was so low. I didn't know if they were going to come with the COA or anything like that. I basically did no research at all on any of these babies, which... It doesn't really matter to me because I do like them and they're beautiful babies. I didn't know that his paint apparently comes off with water. I didn't know that he was not sealed properly. I did not know any of this information at all because I didn't ask. So again, that is on me. I didn't know that Serenity, Serenity wasn't coming with her paperwork or COA. Um, and again, I did not know that she was originally bought for $270 on eBay because again her listed price was $350. So then there is another screenshot and it shows what I paid sent to them with my name on it. And then this is the what 
the person I put. Like I said previously, both of these dolls have issues, which is why they weren't ever priced high. I'm addressing this publicly as I keep getting messages about them being overpriced. Now, I'm unsure who is messaging this person about that because I am very open. I don't have a problem for anybody coming to me and talking to me about a situation or a problem they may have. Um, I've never got a DM or an email saying, why are they priced that price? And why are they this and why are they that? So let me tell you guys why they were priced as that on Mercari. By the way, I listed them on Mercari for this price. Nixon was listed at 430 with free shipping on Mercari. So 430 with free shipping now. Many, if not all, everyone knows that Mercari takes out a selling fee and a processing fee. And since I offer free shipping, I have to pay for shipping as well, correct? So we have him listed as 430. Okay, I'm unsure how much his processing fee was. I should have got that for you all. But um, there's a selling fee, there's a processing fee. There's me paying for shipping. Based on all those fees, I was going to include a box opening with brand new items and clothing in both of their boxes because I did not want to list them for that much on Mercari. Anytime that I list my dolls for sale on Mercari, I do have to list them higher due to fees, but I always make sure that they get a beautiful box opening. So there's processing fees, selling fees, me paying for shipping, me buying new clothes for box openings, as well as a fee when using PayPal when you want to send the money to your card. So there's about four to five different fees that you have to pay when selling on Mercari. Symphony was listed at $4.55, free shipping, same with her. Basically, I am accused of selling them for more than what I paid, and I am selling them for more than I paid because of the fees on Mercari. Back to me paying for them. Again, I contacted her when they were on a deal. You guys know I do deals all the time for my babies. If you buy them this week, I'll let them go for this price. I got that deal because she was um, selling them for a discounted price or for like a limited time. I guess it doesn't really matter how long. They were selling them for a limited time, so it was, they were cheaper. And then since I bought both of them, they decided again to give me another deal on top of that deal. So I guess they are upset because I listed them higher on Mercari due to the fees on there and decided to make this public knowledge and information, which is okay, I guess. And apparently people are messaging, asking how much I paid and why are they listed as this. Someone had messaged them and i won't say any names because i don't want anyone to go back and bashing them or just anything you guys you guys know um i don't i've never publicly bashed anyone i never publicly bashed anyone for having scam unauthentic kits i never publicly bashed anyone for upselling their reborn dolls or kits and i never publicly bashed anyone who I bought a doll from and wasn't scammed, but I never publicly bashed anyone who I bought a doll from and it went horribly wrong. You guys know my one of my most viewed videos is a disappointed box opening. I had a custom from an amazing popular artist, waited about six months, got maybe a couple of work in progress photos. The baby looked nothing like the photos and the baby came to me damaged. I had a lot of comments on there asking me to publicly say their name and let everyone know who they were. And I have decided to not do that. It would do me no good to sit here and bash them and let everyone know their name. Now, if someone was seriously trying to figure out who their name was and they're like really trying to avoid them, then of course I say, you know, it was this person, but you know, don't send them any hate or anything like that. I just never been in, been into the idea of bashing or publicly addressing a situation when I feel like these can be handled privately. You know, again, I was blocked, so I have no clue what's going on, but a simple DM, 
of saying, hey, why are there prices that would have solved a lot of this? I would have had no problem telling exactly why they priced the way they are. So not only does this makes me seem like I am a bad person and I'm trying to be money hungry and greedy, it's going to make someone not want to purchase from me and feel as if I am maybe dishonest or even so-called being called a scammer. And I do not want that on myself or my name at all, which is why I am making this video. So someone had messaged them and this is what they said. She's selling them with clothes and Mercari takes out fees, but I think she would be making the same amount of money that she paid. I'm good friends with Maya and I know her personally, but I think you should message her one-on-one. -on -one. She says she changed the price and she would like for you to unblock her. I did say that. I, she was like, I'm going to message her. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And I was like, if you could, could you let her know that I did take them out, take them down off Mercari and that I would like for her to unblock me so that we can speak about this privately. And then uh, she also said, my friend, she also said, but I will say I don't think it's right to post about one person overpricing a doubt and not all of them, but that's just me. So this was posted earlier today, this morning, at like the crack of dawn. <laughs> and yesterday I did see that the same person who I purchased, Citrony and Judas Rum, had also posted a conversation between her and someone else in the community and they were asking about another one of her dolls that she had sold they asked her how much she paid how much she sold the doll for and then the person had said okay and then they had told her how much the person who has the doll now is selling the doll for so that's basically what this last message is saying she don't think it's right to post about one person overpricing a doll and not all of them so she didn't post the person who was overpricing the other baby that she sold she just posted a conversation between her and the other person in the community but with me you know things are different i'm actually getting posted and my name thrown out there but no one else's so that's what she's saying this is her response to my friend i've posted recent ones i don't see anything wrong with it as i'm not bashing anyone like i said before just as much as people are allowed to resell for hire I'm allowed to show original pricing and issues the DAOs have. I've received multiple complaints about it and I decided to put on my story because I'm tired of replying to multiple people telling and explaining the same thing. So um, I do agree with what was said that, you know, people are allowed to resell for hire and people are allowed to show the original pricing. The original pricing. The issues that the DAO has, I have plenty of videos and I wasn't originally aware that the DAOs had any issues. There was a lot of things that I did not know because I didn't ask, which again was on me and not on her at all. I'm unsure what the issues that the DAOs have have to do with anything, quite frankly. Um, I don't know the multiple complaints that she has gotten or even the multiple people messaging her. I have not got a lot of interest on Nixon at all. Maybe three people, Serenity, maybe about five or six people. So I'm not sure who is messaging her constantly and asking about it when I have not gotten, when I have not gotten tons of interest on either of those babies. So I'm unsure. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've never went back and messaged anybody when inquiring about Adele. And asking how much they originally paid for it and I do understand being tired of replying to people and telling them the same thing but you're not you don't have to reply to them I'm sorry I don't mean to sound rude but you don't have to reply back to anybody about anything you don't want to and if you're tired of it simply don't respond back you know I'm tired of doing a lot of things and so I simply don't do it there are some more messages, guys, so I'm getting a little bit lost. So, okay, so then my friend said, yes, I understand that you are totally right. Would you mind unblocking, unblocking her and messaging her instead or at least crossing out her name since you didn't post anyone else's name, like the person who was charging way more for your full body silicone? And if you don't see anything wrong with it, why did you block her? She stated her name is off now and to be honest, I don't appreciate appreciate what she did, especially after multiples told me about it. That's all. I'm not sure again who people are because those prices are listed on Mercari again for 
selling, processing, free shipping, a free brand new box opening, as well as the fee that PayPal takes when you want to transfer the money onto your card. I feel like if she did not appreciate it and was just curious, the simple curiosity. I'm a reasonable person. I'm grown. We could have you could have asked and I would have told you we could have settled this in private instead of in public making it a bigger deal than what was stated. Again, my friend said, I I guess I understand that, but I don't appreciate it being posted publicly because all you have to do is DM Maya about the situation or at least that's what I would have done. She said, yeah, she could have came to me first. I would have understood listing both for 230 max, but instead she decides to put them for best offer to the public to hide how much gain she planned on getting from them either way. It's off my post, even though half my DMs are about the situation I'm allowed to speak up. I was unaware that you had to message someone when you planned on reselling a DAO that you purchased from them. I was completely unaware that you had to do that in this community. I've been in here about almost 10, 11 years. I have never knew that was a rule that you had to let someone know when you were going to resell the baby that you purchased from them. Um, If I could have came to her first, why couldn't she come to me and ask me about pricing? And ask me about why their price is the way or are the way that they are. You know, so it just seems like a lot of things that could have once again been avoided. Um, the f only the really main part I have about it is she decides to put them for best offer to the public to hide how much gain she planned on getting from them. I am not planning or wanting to gain anything from those babies or any of the babies that I have listed at all i don't have them as best offer all of my dows are i always put or reasonable offer or all prices are negotiable any doll i sell you can message me any kind of price i am open to all offers on any of my dows not just those ones i'm not sure if she understands how mercari works I'm not sure how much gain she thought I was getting from these babies because with all of that being taken out of the price, I am gaining absolutely nothing. Maybe at most $20. Yeah, I can go fill up my gas tank. Not. <laughs> and um, now her half of her DMs are about the situation. And she is allowed. She says she's allowed to speak up. You are allowed to speak up. But your dms wouldn't be about the situation if you didn't address the situation or brought the situation publicly and then after that she put oh i don't know but you said you had bought serenity for 270 but i think she was listed for 350 but makari takes out fees so she would not be making the entire 400 dollars plus that is apparently or accordingly the last message between them and again, guys, I am not trying to gain any money from any of these babies. Everyone knows when you are selling babies, you in fact lose money because most times, if not all times, you can't get as much as you spent on them. You know, some people are lucky and they do get it's just the same amount that they spent on the baby. But everyone knows that you don't make nearly as much money as what you spent on them. Again, I just feel like I am grown. I believe they are grown and this could have been handled privately or in the DM. I'm not sure who the multiple people that are messaging her asking about these dials because I've not had any serious inquiries about them at all. But if they wanted to know, they could have simply asked me. We'll go back to her being upset that they are listed for that price. So here on the screen, you guys can see that they are listed for $350. This is their original price. They were up for sale for about two, maybe three months. And then she ended up lowering their price. And then she ended up giving me the deal. So as you guys can see, their price was $350. She said that she paid $270 on eBay. Guys, I am kind of at a loss for words. So excuse me. And I'm not trying to play victim or anything like that. So don't think I am. I'm not trying to play victim at all. 
I agree with most of the things she said. I can understand that she's upset about the pricing and I can understand that she is allowed to speak up about it since she does feel that it is wrong. I'm not mad at her at all about that. I'm not mad at her at all in general. I just have to bring it publicly because she brought it publicly and I don't want my name to get slander as well as she already had blocked me before I could even see it and defend myself. So this is the way that I am defending myself. But anyways, as you guys can see, I have screenshots right there that they were listed for 350 um, even though they weren't sold for 350 they are listed at 350 They weren't sold for 350 because, again, she did a deal on them and then she gave me another deal because I bought two. I do that all the time. I do deals all the time on my babies and if someone buys multiple babies from me, I do give them a deal as well. So the price on Mercari is the price on Mercari because of fees. The price of them off of Mercari, which is why, again, I don't really like to you know, deal with Macari, but whatever. Now, the price that I did have them listed as was for the $350. I'm not going to sit here and say that I had them listed for $150 or however much. I did, off of Macari, I do or did have them listed as $350 plus shipping. Not all of us is fortunate enough to pay for shipping. Shipping has got so expensive nowadays that I can no longer provide and offer free shipping. Everyone who watches and watches my channel knows that i did offer free shipping at a point of time and i let you guys know that i will no longer be able to offer free shipping on any of my babies because shipping has gone up tremendously and i was made aware of shipping going up um a little bit a little bit before i had shipped off javen someone had let me know in the comments that it's not only ups that has expensive shipping but it's also usps that has expensive shipping and they have went up as well so um I was no longer able and I am no longer able to provide free shipping. So I have them listed as 350 plus shipping or I'm taking offers. Um, I don't have a problem taking less than that. I was unaware again that she bought the baby for $270 because she listed the baby originally for $350. So I was unaware that she did not pay the 350 for the baby that's why i'm very confused because they are the price that they are because of the original listing and post that she did as you guys saw and see it says 350 for both babies each i got a deal because i bought them when she was doing the deal and i also got another deal because i bought them together i thought the best thing to do is list them for the original price that she had them listed as I was unaware that she did not pay the three fifty for Serenity. I did not know she only paid two seventy because again, she was listed on her page for three hundred fifty dollars. I don't really think I have anything else to say about the situation or the topic. Um, I'm just here to show you guys that I am not trying to get any extra money on these babies at all, and. I'm just trying to get you guys to see that I have never publicly posted anyone in their wrongdoings because I guess maybe I should have asked her how much she paid. I guess. I don't know, guys. I just usually base the babies on how much the person originally has them listed for sale. I didn't think that I was in any wrongdoings because I know how Makari works. I sold on Makari. I bought on Makari. And so I know that people often have to list things at a higher price than what they paid or what they want to do based on the fees on Macari. And I knew that was something I had to do, which I did not like doing. I did not have I did not like having to list them for that much money on Macari when in fact again that's a lot of money, you know. I was not trying to look for extra profit. That is false. I was not trying to be devious and be manipulative to anyone and if you felt that i was i apologize but that was not my intentions at all when i listed them up for sale i thought that again 350 dollars would be best because that's what she had them listed as you know and things can be the same said about those who purchase a blank kit for the original price of 115 or 130 150 and they go and sell it for five six hundred seven hundred even a thousand dollars you know 
I don't get on here and I don't bash those who decide to sell the kit for more than what they paid. I've seen people upscale or up price babies all the time knowing what their original pricing was and I don't bash them. It's their DAO and they are allowed to do whatever they want and please with that DAO. And no, I'm not saying that just because of this situation. I've sold a DAO before and someone had posted it for more money than what I sold it to them for. You know, and I'm not mad at them at all. And I didn't publicly post them or bash them or anything of that matter. I'm not going to lie. When I did see that, it made me not... I'm being a little dramatic. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm being a tad bit dramatic. I am the baby of the bunch i like to be i like to be dramatic at times but i did honestly think about not even wanting to be in this community anymore guys i am so grown i don't have time for drama i don't have time for he say she say i don't have time for people to talk about me behind my back i'm sorry this is not high school i didn't have it in high school i'm not gonna have it now i just feel like if you feel a way about someone rather that's in the community in this hobby or in real life just say it. Just say it to them. There's no point of going behind their back. There's no point of blocking them. We're all grown here. Anyways, guys, you guys will have to let me know. If you got, please watch this whole thing. But you guys will have to let me know. What do you think about it? You know, like I said, I've seen tons of people actually making a profit since I am accused of trying to make a profit. I've seen actual people make a profit. I saw tons of people who actually make a profit on these downs. I actually just saw yesterday, speaking of, I saw yesterday someone had publicly posted someone because they had sold a down for more than what they paid. I also saw that same person publicly post someone who had sold a DAO that has been with multiple owners for the same price as the DAO would be brand new. You know, you are allowed to post whatever you want. Um, I just think talking in private first is the better is the better is the better route to go instead of just going ahead and posting about that said person and then blocking them so they can't see it or defend themselves. Again, that's just how I feel. And you know, a lot of people get mad at people for upselling the babies, but no one seems to get upset or mad about people for upselling blank kits again i was not trying to be deceitful i was not trying to be dishonest if anybody would have came up to me i would have gave been 100 percent honest with them i would have told them the truth i would have told them exactly what i am telling you all that my intentions were not trying to make a profit off of those babies that they are priced higher on makari as all of my dolls that have been listed on makari are priced higher because of fees and that i was going to send them home with brand new clothing and a box packing free of charge. I felt bad that they were that much on Macari. Now I honestly do feel like none of my babies would sell. Because of this, this is a major setback for me. And for me, I was already having a hard enough time selling. And then now I have this. And now people are going to not want to purchase any babies from me because of this. Which is again, why I think things should be handled privately. And then maybe post about it. But I mean, people post about the craziest things, but when it comes to scammers, people that's actually scamming people out of babies and items, no one wants to post about it publicly or no one wants to say names. At the end of the day, I just feel like we all can be adults about things. And this is from where I'm from. This is what we say. Sneak dissing. <laughs> For all of you who do not know what that means, that means you are talking about a person without saying their name or who it is. So I feel like a lot of things can be avoided and that no one should be sneak dissing because we are all grown here again. She could have DM'd me. I would have told her why. If she felt that I needed to lower them from the 350 that I had them listed as off of Makari, I would have totally did that. Again, I did not know she only paid two seventy because again she had them listed at three fifty. Okay, that was key for me to wrap it up. So what I was I was actually wrapping it up. Okay, iPhone, I was wrapping it up. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. You don't have to agree with everything I say, and you don't have to agree with everything that I do. As long as you just keep it respectful in the comments, just state whatever how you feel, how you feel about people actually trying to make a profit.
Okay, so my phone was being a pain because it just kept stop recording. So basically more of the story is I was accused of trying to make a profit on Serenity as well as Nixon. I had purchased them while um, they were on a sale slash deal as well as I was offered another deal for both of them since I was purchasing both of them. I thought the fair enough thing to do was list them for the price that they were originally listed at which was 350 each and apparently that was wrong of me to do and that I needed to lower the price because they had quotation boo boo's quotation. So again, I did not know that they were not worth the 350. I did not know that because they were listed as for the 350. Um, I, in, the, in this video, I am like feel like I'm talking in circles, and that's because I get tongue tied and I stutter a lot and I say I'm a lot and I say so a lot. So hopefully, you guys can get what I'm basically trying to say. Anyways, I don't want to make this video any longer than what it has to be. Everybody have a great weekend. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want the comments, including video requests. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell. So you guys can be notified when I post another video and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.